Welcome back to Sea Encounters Battleships, it's Harnas here and in today's episode we are going to see uh, Anikul's saboteur fighting my own ship, ORP Thunder. So two uh, very dangerous ships fighting against each other but uh, they have a totally different strategy to win. So of course my ship uh, it shoots low velocity, heavy shells, and it can pretty much engage from 4,000 meters. So have to make some, have to travel some time before it can actually shoot. And Anikul's ship, uh, saboteur, it uh, just uses just uses a totally opposite uh, ammunition. So it uses high velocity sabo rounds. Uh, it's got some secrets stashed. Uh, guns below the waterline somewhere here and yeah let's see how it goes I have a feeling that this cannot go to the distance I think that this must end in a in some violent way but how uh, we are going to find out for now uh, of course father is the one taking the most damage obviously because it pretty much didn't uh, use his guns yet just opening right now and let's see how this fire is going to go. Some secondary, uh, some secondary is missing, and yeah, some kind of a glitch. And some shots have landed, uh, one near the back turret, but it was not really damaged. Uh, looks like Thunder have eaten quite a lot, 87%, 98 still for the saboteur. Let's see how this is going to play out. Saboteur started to eat some damage, 95%, 86 for Thunder. Some more low velocity shots land, and these are, are not really too effective. I think the most important part is to get rid of those front turrets, but for now, just slight chip damage was was done to them. All right, uh, yeah, uh, thunder starts to kite, so it uh, dangerously exposes its citadel right now. So anything can happen. Volleys seem to be a little bit high for saboteur. Back gun starting to shoot but uh, unfortunately it lost both front turrets so only a portion of the rear turret I think maybe yeah maybe maybe all of the guns I'm not sure are actually operational so this is a, a large loss of firepower and just take a look at that yeah the bug gun is is done so now it's only the secondaries that can do some harm so I don't really think Thunder has any chance at this point because uh, the firepower uh, is definitely on the saboteur side now some good crippling shots again delivered by saboteur and there's really not a lot of, uh, of guns still left on the Thunder. So even this uh, usually unharmed front, uh, front secondary just has one gun left. So let's see uh, how is Saboteur doing. Okay, it's eating some of the secondary, uh, secondary damage, but it's, uh, it's not really that big of a deal so it only lost 10% so far and most importantly uh, the main guns are still operational and doesn't really seem that they are in any harm right now and uh, and pretty much at this point Thunder is just uh, just in the close quarters so it's it should be really, really easy for, for the high velocity support to actually snipe the, the citadel, to find the citadel. Ok, 
Okay, Hash is uh, finding its targets pretty easily. The secondaries are quite powerful and there is a lot of um, saboteurs uh, armor that is, that is pretty much uh, just decoration only. So uh, some of the shots can definitely uh, deal, deal damage, but uh, the critical systems are protected, are well protected actually. So it's, uh, it's quite difficult to, to cripple Saboteur. And especially without those uh, low velocity guns, because they, they deliver their damage in a, in a different way, uh, from a different angle. So many ships have not really been uh, equipped to deal with the, this kind of uh, uh, low velocity strange angle kind of uh, dipping fire so but now it's only up to the to the hash to do some damage okay let's take a look at uh, the condition of thunder okay so it's kind of like that so we've got maybe three Four guns in total really firing secondaries. Of course, those secondaries uh, are quite power powerful, uh, relatively speaking, and they have good range, so they can do some damage. And it shows it uh, chipped away some some percents from uh, from saboteur. However, this is nothing in comparison to the saboteur's main guns, of course. All right, 88, 69, 70. Let's see, the back gun. Some shots landed near the back gun, but just not enough to disable it. Sixty-nine to eighty-eight. And we've got a disqualification shot. So looks like finally, after quite a lot of long, a long time, uh, unusually long, Saboteur was able to find a citadel and and ended uh, this battle. Let me try to find out where actually the citadel was hit. So it looks like it it is this spot. Uh, just in the rear so I think that this might be some kind of a weak spot in the armor so even though the angle was quite good uh, the shell managed to penetrate and to just just to graze the citadel from the bottom and uh, make a made a big boom <laughs> all right so uh, that's the end of uh, of Thunder's run in the main brackets, uh, it's going to be dropped to secondaries and it might come back. Let's see. Uh, it's a quite a powerful design. I'm quite proud of uh, of uh, Thunder, but this time definitely Saboteur had an upper hand and won quite decisively. 88% uh, still remaining on the Saboteur, so not really a lot of damage uh, taken from, from Thunder. Okay, uh, so congratulations to Aniko. Uh, Saboteur continues its run and it's going to be fighting a winner of uh, Curse versus. No, not decided yet. And uh, yeah, we are going to see it uh, continuing its run in the tourney. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode.